being from the East Coast, I used to drink a lot. I still like drinking. I just find it funny that alcohol gets marketed to us like it's our friend, man. That makes me laugh, because alcohol is nobody's friend, okay? It has stabbed everyone in this room, in the back, and it will do it again, okay? A friend would not make you throw up at a McDonald's at two in the morning, okay? That same friend's not gonna let you call your ex at 4.30 in the morning. Alcohol, though, is all about it. Like, yeah, give them a call. They probably miss you, too. <laughs> and then people will talk about weed as if it's this awful, twisted, horrible thing that we should all stay away from. Because if you slow down for even a minute, old man weed will walk up behind you, wrap his arms of unemployment around your chest, drag you to the ground of failure. It's not what's gonna happen. Between the two of these things, if anything, weed would be your friend, man. Because weed does things that a friend would do, okay? Like, hey, you're stressed out? Weed will calm you down. Like a friend would. Weed will get you some chips. You didn't even know they were in the house, man. <laughs> weed just finds them. Like, if alcohol's anyone, it is that kid in high school that used to instigate fights all the time. You know that guy that walk up to one guy and be like, yo, that guy said your mom's easy. And then walk up to the other guy and be like, yo, that guy said he slept with your girlfriend. And then watch them fight? That's alcohol. Walking beside you all night, just saying stuff into your ear like, yo, you're gonna let the bouncer talk to you like that, man? <laughs> that move to the back of the line, please, sir, shit? Knock him out right now. <laughs> My name is Nathan McIntosh, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Nathan McIntosh.